If you could travel back through the mists of time, say around 200 million years, you would find fish remarkably like the ones swimming the present day waters of the Rioni River. Five critically endangered species of sturgeon still spawn in the Rioni, that is, they travel upstream from the Black Sea to lay their eggs. But upstream, numerous dams have contributed to their drastic decline. This one is the Vartsiche hydropower cascade. Completed in 1987, it stopped fish from reaching spawning grounds that had existed for millennia. Hydropower is a very big problem, for sure. But the sturgeon spawning grounds are decreased, uh, and now it's only nine kilometers. And in the past, it was more than 50. To understand the threat, Tamuna needs more data. Mogeli is ready to help. He remembers the days when the sturgeon were large and plentiful. Catching them now is illegal, but if netted, locals know who to call. We keep it alive, put it in a basket, and wait for Tamuna or the others. They'll come, take a sample, and let them go. The fish are released back into the river. That's delivering results. One species thought to be extinct has been rediscovered, the so-called ship sturgeon. But DNA analysis also has revealed a worrying trend, hybrid individuals, which can no longer reproduce. Man's intervention is everywhere. Here, the river has been diverted to reduce seasonal flooding. These sluice gates used to be used for quite a different purpose. If closed, you could trap migrating sturgeon and they could be caught far more easily. Well, thanks to observers on the ground, those kinds of big fishing events are far less common. Twelve monitors now patrol a 92-kilometer stretch of the Rioni. Last year, Gennady's team uncovered 22 incidents of poaching, including this rig of hooks designed to snag sturgeon on the riverbed. We are in contact with each other over the phone. We pass on information, what is happening in our area. Or, if a boat goes by, I will tell the others where it went, in which direction, and we will react so that if something illegal is happening, we can stop it. The sturgeon are now better protected and better understood. But Georgia's government wants more hydropower on this river, not less. Their survival still hangs in the balance. Robin Forestier Walker, Al Jazeera, on the Rioni River in western Georgia.